Hello, listeners. Welcome back for another great week. I am Sarah Karakayan. I am Annette Grant, and together we are... Thanks, Thanks for, for visiting. visiting. We, if it sounds noisy, if it sounds a little like... There's commotion. A commotion. It's on purpose. Right. We are recording from VRMA, from the Breezeway booth. booth. We were so excited. We, we asked Breeze, we were like, they'd be really fun to just set up shop, mm-hmm. recap our event this weekend. And Annette, what else are we doing? We are celebrating, drum roll, I wish I had it, <laughs> okay, our 200th episode, I can't even believe I'm saying that, our 200th episode, but Sarah, let's kick the show off like we do every time. All right, so we're going to kick off the show like we do each and every week, that's sharing one of you our amazing listeners and viewers, but instead of sharing one of your properties this time, we want to ask for your help and we would like for you to STR share us. Yes. Thanks for visiting. So we are our own. (laughs) (laughs) STR share Sunday. It's at thanks for visiting underscore. And if you are one of our listeners that we absolutely adore and love, what we ask this week is that you share us with either uh, one of your hosting friends, someone that wants to host, or even someone that just uh, uses vacation rentals, short-term rentals. That would mean the world to us. So we're going to give ourselves a little love uh, this week. And But because we love you so much, we want you to continue to hopefully spread our message. You can make some more hosting buddies. And yeah, just give us some, give us some likes, give us some love, and sh- share out the podcast. It means yes. the world. All right. So if you guys know or don't know, Annette and I had a live event this past weekend, Mm -hmm. the weekend prior to VRMA. If you don't know what VRMA is, totally fine. It is the Vacation Vacation Rental Managers Association. Wow. International event. Yeah, it's their international event. So if you want to belong to a professional organization like VRMA, it's a really great educational Mm -hmm. um, place for you to be around other like-minded and they have, Operators. this is their international event, but they have regional events across the country all throughout the year. And some of them, I believe you do need to be a member and then other ones you do not need to be a member. You can, you, you can get a ticket right. still, uh, but Sarah and I, we cannot uh, support education and, and finding your people. And this is exactly the place that you, that you could do that. So we want to give VRMA some, some love. Check them out, vrma.org. Yes. And of course, thank you to Breezeway, not only for sponsoring our podcast, but thanks to Ben at Breezeway for allowing us to crash their booth yeah, here at, the booth. at VRMA. Um, we think it's a really good opportunity to just recap our first live event this weekend. We would like to give you our top takeaways Yes. from our speakers who so generously shared their time their with time us. Their time and their knowledge. And if you don't know what we're talking about, we had our first live event, TV, TFV Live, in Las Vegas at the Sahara on October 23rd. We had around 175 amazing host speakers, sponsors, and it was a blast. It's still a blast. People are still here hanging out. And we're going to go over that. What was one of your biggest takeaways from our morning sessions about real estate? And like analyzing deals, the, the properties, what, what was something that just really you were taking notes on, Sarah? Yeah. So first of all, we asked our members, our HBMM members, if we do a live event, what do we want to cover in the live event? And so we structured the, the education around what they requested. And they wanted real estate, operations, and marketing. Mm-hmm. So in the real estate portion, we had Kenny Bedwell mm-hmm. from STR Insights. We had Tony Robinson um, from the Ro- Real Estate Robinsons. He's also the host of the um, Bigger Pockets Rookie Podcast. Mm-hmm. We we had, who else did we have? Real estate. We had, we had a panel. In the morning. A we creative had, funding panel. Yeah, as well. And we had Joe Vieri talking about taxes and cost segregation. Yes. So my biggest takeaway was I think I'm going to go with cost segregation. Okay. And depreciating our assets and being able to pull out money that I. Mm-hmm. The short term, really benefit from all the tax but benefits and shelters that our short term rentals, our properties bring us. And there are people like Joe that can help us. Do you need this. to make sure, and the, the, the key there is don't just stop at the first person that is a CPA or Ooh, a bookkeeper. Yeah. You want to keep searching, searching, searching. And we can tell you, Sarah and I, on you know our business journey, I think we're on our second bookkeeper, um, our second CPA, we, you know, we're, we're always making sure that we're keeping up to date. And, and it's nothing about the bookkeeper CPA. It's, we want people that are in their zone of genius and we're in, their, we're in that zone, same jo- zone of genius. So pl- 
please make sure that's on the top of the list because we're we're getting towards the end of the year. Don't delay. Work on that today. What was your biggest takeaway from the real estate portion? <laughs> the biggest takeaway, again, and I, it just keeps coming back to me over and over again, and it was Kenny Bedwell. And it was that, you know, when you're analyzing deals, it's still logical and emotional. And you can like, you can have a spreadsheet all day long and, and, and run the numbers, run the numbers. But if that town is, a, if that property is in a town that you don't have any sort of a emotional draw to, it doesn't matter what the numbers are. Um, and we don't want short-term rental hosts just chasing uh, the cash on cash return or chasing, you know, where they think they're going to have the biggest tax deduction. So I love that he continues to bring that up. And it actually, to be honest, it just makes me feel good about how I feel about investing and that, you know, Sarah and I are backyard investors in Columbus, Ohio. And, you know, we're not in the Smoky Mountains. We're, we're not in Joshua Tree. We're where we know the property. And not to say we won't go to those places, but he just reassures us because um, I also don't like the emotion and logic is like, how many doors do you have? And it, right. it's, it's, it's quality over quantity. Yeah. So. And if I'm going to sneak one more takeaway there, we had a create a funding panel. And number one, I love that of the four seats, three of them were sat in by women mm -hmm. because Tanya ladies, Rooney, Tanya Ashley, Rooney, Ashley Gallagher, myself, Annette Grant, and then, and then of then course, Mike Hicks, Mike Hicks <laughs> who is probably the, the king of creative funding. But the message from the entire creative funding panel, which I know all you listeners are, and viewers are going to really appreciate, is like Annette said at the beginning of this whole recap of the real estate portion is don't settle on the first bank you call, the yeah. second bank you call. I'm actually in a situation right now where I had the first bank. They let me down. Wah, the wah. second bank was you know, also not helpful. And all of my friends at this event reminded me, call bank three, four, five, Bye. and six. Get it done. Mm -hmm. You have to be tenacious. And by the way, again, uh, Sarah and I are also going to start working with two new banks. And we're going to introduce you to them hopefully soon because uh, we need yeah. to diversify that also. Um, another thing from the creative funding panel that I that a takeaway from that is, you know, you always need to be planning your next deal before it's anywhere in your world. You need to be making those connections, asking people, do you know anyone who? Do you know anyone who would want to invest? Do you know anybody who has money to invest? And that's a nice soft way to kind of ask that person directly but indirectly and ask them if they if they want to invest. And so that's just the way because there were people asking questions during the panel and they were, you know, they were trying to get the funding together, you know, while the, the deal was like on the MLS and, you know, it, it kind of passed them by. And I was like, you need to prepare for that before you're ready. Yes. Speaking of the MLS, it was time and time again at our event, we asked our panelists, our speakers, our attendees, when they were talking about a specific property, where they found it, MLS came up over and over and over yeah. again. So I don't want you to think, you know, a lot of people like, think that things have to be like this magic, you know, off market deal that they found to make the numbers work. And that was something that was really reassuring for me that, okay, things can be found on the MLS. They can be found on Redfin. They can be found by driving through your neighborhood and seeing that for sale sign in the yard. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to the next pillar of our aggressive all day <laughs> learning intensive event was operations. Oh, Sarah just lit up. I did. I did light up. So we, <laughs> we had the real estate in the morning. We got it. We secured the property. We had an amazing lunch. Thank you, Sahara. Oh, Our lunch was did. amazing. It was yeah, good. It was very good food. <laughs> but that's the thing that we feel sometimes is missing when people talk about short-term rentals and acquisition is what to do with it afterwards. I, I know all of you know that it is far more difficult than just hiring a great professional cleaner and then right. going to the beach and sipping on your cocktails. So my biggest takeaway is I was very excited. I found, um, I got introduced to Sean Kemper of ETI Solutions. And we are going to do more work with him in the future. So we hold are. tight. We are. So he manufactures cleaning products in uh, down in Gulf Shores, Alabama, mm -hmm. and his products are safe mm -hmm. and they are effective and they are inexpensive because of the way he has created the packaging right. system for them. Yes. And I, we were sitting there. I was like taking notes on mold and how like I didn't understand what bleach did to mold. Here's the thing, listeners. If you have a cleaning team, you still need to educate yourself. Know the products that they're using in your home. Yeah. Supply them the products. If you're going to have an opinion about what's being used in your home, on your marble countertops, on your hardwood floors, 
don't just let, you know, you, you need to have a partnership with them on that. And if you're asking for certain things, you need to support them with the right, with the right tools, and the right products. protect your materials. Yeah. A lot of you are doing amazing builds, unique situations, unique materials inside your property so that you stand out. You don't want those to get ruined by right. having the wrong chemicals. It's, it's an investment in, investment in your investment. So Sean Kipper was awesome. Like I said, we are going to bring him back yeah, to talk about really some of his amazing products and uh, just give us some of the chemistry. We learned a lot of chemistry and that was an important to the cleaning. And I will tell you, if you want to get a hold of Sean, he will actually get on the phone with you like a Zoom call and build out a cleaning program for you with his chemicals. So yep. you can describe what you need and he'll tell you of his products what will work best. So I, I love I love supporting Sean. Mm -hmm. He's a good guy. He's doing, he the, most, he's our doing industry. The, the most important work. Of course, we had Justin Ford there. Yep. Another he, shout out for Breezeway. He is Breezeway's safety. Just He's all their safety. Yeah. Right? International <laughs> safety expert, Justin Ford. And he, of course, if you are new to our podcast, thanks for being here. Justin's been on our podcast more than any other guest because safety in our spot on our spaces is the most important thing, of course, to protect our assets that, again, mm -hmm. that we've invested so much money in, but also to protect our guests and us yes. from liability. Mm -hmm. And no one wants to get sued. So Awesome. And... Um, one of my biggest takeaway from from Justin this time, which every single time I learn something, is just how insurance companies are not looking at accidents anymore. These are incidents. You you're not there. You can't just say, "Oh, sorry, there was an accident in my house." There needs to be preventative things going on. You are a commercial business, uh, and, and you know you are. People are paying to stay there, so your safety standards need to be up to speed. If you have not checked out. A breezeway safety certification, please, please do it's that. It's free. It's yep. free for you to do. And if you work with Proper Insurance, who's also here at the event, they will, you will get a 5% discount off of your insurance. So that's pretty cool. Okay. okay. So then we moved into marketing because you know that at Night Champion, direct bookings and building uh, a no business. No, we didn't. Kyle Stanley. Oh, that's right. We had Kyle. Thank yeah, you. And actually, she forgot that because she took so many notes. That was next level. <laughs> yeah. So Kyle was talked all about and if you don't follow file five follow <laughs> Kyle it's at fearless Kyle and Kyle talked about team building yeah and that was really important because there was a lot of people there that were maybe new um, they were just getting started but other people that were veterans and he did a, a great exercise of just reaching out on Facebook LinkedIn or Instagram saying hey I am hiring somebody at two to five hundred dollars a month to do some uh, help me with some real estate uh, endeavors and people were taking action on that and that was one of those things hire before you're ready yes start to plan your team you should always be hiring and you can put their you know resume quote unquote on file and yeah. discuss what they want out of real estate right or at what they want out of short-term rentals and even if you don't use them right then and there you Just can reach out to them in the future start and know the what you want to do with them right yep no sure. Kyle Kyle's presentation was next level and everyone was taking action. People were coming up to us, even still here at VRMA, being like, oh my God, I got comments. I have a coffee date yes. this Friday. So take thank action. you. Thank you, Kyle. Maybe we'll try to put his little uh, call to action in our show notes so people good. know what to put on their LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram. Okay, but then we went to marketing. <laughs> because again, we champion direct booking. We do not want to leave our businesses in the hands of Airbnb. They are a great lead generator. Or, we appreciate them. Or booking.com. Or, or, or BRBO. BRBO. Right. Yeah. yeah. So we started with social media. Uh, we talked about Emily Menther, who was on the show before. We talked about making sure your bio is really dialed in. Mm -hmm. She talked about collaborating with local media outlets and how she paid to be to collaborate with a local media outlet. But her ROI on that, on that investment was like... Oh, the stats, yeah, the stats, the stats were insane. It was very her worth email it. list grew. Her, yes. yeah, it, and she actually, the giveaway actually brought her in revenue because they ended up staying longer than just the two night stay that they right. were awarded. Yes. So she ended up making revenue twice. from the, this giveaway. With yep. the same media outlet in her area. So that was great. And then we had Arthur from StayFi. If you don't know what StayFi is, please check them out. Go yes. to our website. You want to know what StayFi is. Yeah, we'll put the link in our bio. It is where you can collect email addresses from your guests, just like when you go to a hotel or a cafe and they ask you for your name and email. A splash page pops up. Yes. And you can get that. And the key to this, Sarah, what's what's the key? It's not just the guests that booked. It's all of the guests' guests. Yeah. that booked because to get online they also have to give us their name and email and of course accept the terms and conditions right. and if no spam yeah no spam allowed here but 
with StayFi, it also has an email marketing uh, software or email marketing abilities within mm -hmm. yeah. its platform. Yep. So you can send, if they already have templates, so all you need to do is like, Create a message, yep, and set up automation it. flows, and it'll go right out to um, to your amazing. guests <laughs> once a month, even. Just invite them back, have a little code. But anyway, that was wonderful. He actually sat at the AV yeah. booth and was doing email. He was doing live action emailing. He was showing them how email to marketing. create a template because we. I feel mm -hmm. like we make it more difficult than it needs to be. Yes, for sure. And then we had an amazing panel that I got to that I got to host, and it had uh, four amazing humans on them. One of them being Sarah. Our lo my lovely co-host, and John Hayes, Megan Morgan, and JL Napolsky. And our this panel was all about direct booking. Oh my gosh. So it went all the way from, Sarah has a property that is 100% direct booking. John, I think he said, he, what John was John like 30%? They were 30% and they just started their direct booking. Megan literally, I love this story, maybe we can have her on. She listened to one of our podcasts about direct booking. She did not even have a website. She stayed up all night just building a simple Wix website and she is now at 30% booking. Uh, can I tell you my takeaway from her? What's up? We asked her what her, like, one of her keys to success. She's in Texas, where uh, high school football is huge. Oh, she says yeah. she, uh, for a couple hundred bucks, she advertised at her local, um, in her local, local football program and the local football, like, on the field. And she is getting so many bookings from, um, from her like community. It's like $100 to, yeah. like, throw her logo <laughs> in there, her business email and phone number. And it's as simple as that. It, it was awesome. as simple as that. Yes. And then I'm trying to think of some other huge, huge takeaways there. Oh, the one um, John was talking about it is, you know, re like reusing content. So he writes blogs. He does a lot of like listicles. So a listicle is something like 10 best coffee shops in my town, 10 best hiking paths, five best places for brunch. And what he'll do is he'll make that a blog on his website for search engine optimization. Then he will send that out to his email list. And then he will make those TikTok, Instagram, and yeah. Facebook posts. So he can just create, you know, that have that one idea. And it's probably a question. He said his blogs and his content, he's answering questions that his guests are asking. Right. And they're helping him with that. And then we closed off the event with a really great happy hour. We had a step and repeat. It was a lot of fun. It was a blast. Uh, we may or may not be already planning uh, next year. Yeah. Okay, Sarah, I'm going to on the fly. Oh, what was your takeaway from just having a live event and having all the hosts and the listeners in one room? We what haven't I, even had a chance to talk about well, this, and really. I'm, I don't, <laughs> listeners who have been listening for a while now, maybe you know, like, Annette and I are very much yin and yang, and I am a perfectionist. I get very nervous that if I do something and it's not perfect, that I'll be judged, I'll be whatever. Who knows? I don't know what goes in the, this crazy brain of mine. <laughs> but we did it. And could it have, like, could we make tweaks, make it better next year? Always. Mm -hmm. I think you can always be better, but just never be afraid to get started. Yep. And that's for anything. That was our biggest, uh, like, that's my biggest takeaway uh, from this week is like, holy smokes, I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's uh, going to your first event and putting yourself, yourself out there. Uh, you know, we're doing our 200th episode here, which is crazy. So start the podcast. But there were people there that were, that were veterans ready to learn. There were people that are just getting started ready to learn. And that I just feel when you start to take action on whatever that is, even us planning the event, Things start to go in your favor, yeah. you know. And was have there been some hiccups? Yes, Heck there are yeah. hiccups, but that's part of it. That's yeah. part of it, and you got to get going. And guess what, though, it got Sarah and I so super fired up to support you even more. We have so many things like ideas for 2023. One of them may be taking our podcast on the road, Ooh. so be on the lookout for that. But it just got us really fired up to see everyone that was there, meet them in person, uh, hear their story, get our picture taken with them, do some social with them. Thanks for visiting is bigger than Annette and myself. We want to serve all of you so that our whole ecosystem of short-term rental hosts, owners, operators, we can all thrive. Up level. Up level. The whole industry. Yes. The whole industry. Yeah. So we have to get going because lunch is about to hit. Okay. The Breezeway booth is about to get slams with people interested in their product. Oh, yeah. We want to make sure that we can let them do that. But we really appreciate you celebrating the 200th episode with us. Yes. So Please, again, leave a review. Leave us, if you want to help us celebrate, leave us a review on Apple, on Spotify, follow yes. us on YouTube. And last but not least, if everything that you just heard got you fired up, um, we are going to have the recordings for sale uh, 
from from our live event. We we, we videoed it. We we got the audio. We are preparing that now, so we can hopefully release that to you if you're interested in it. We are hoping to release that uh, release that soon once we get home and you know <laughs> get back to work. But we want to make sure that you can participate in uh, in the event also. So with that, I am Sarah Karakan. I am Annette Grant, and together we are. Thanks, Thanks for, for visiting. visiting. We'll talk to you next time.